Cedric Von Prahn announcing that he is coming back to Georgia for another season. He made this a little after lunchtime on Friday here on Dog Nation. We jumped on and talked about it uh, Friday afternoon. You can check that video on our YouTube page. If you're watching us on YouTube now, go ahead and click that like and subscribe button for this video as well as just about every video we do. We want to have a couple of interesting and cool things coming throughout this week. But I wanted to spend a little bit of time here talking about Cedric. And we really touched a lot on the leadership and the offensive line abilities that he brings on Friday in terms of where this offensive line is going to be. I don't think there is a ready-made replacement for him on this roster. And, you know, were he to depart and go to the NFL, and I believe he would have been drafted in this year's NFL draft, I think him coming back for another season has an invaluable impact on what this team is going to be able to do in 2023. Dare I say a, a championship difference maker for this upcoming season in terms of, yes, I know this is a team that always won back-to-back -back national championships. Doing so with Cedric Van Pran as the team's starting center. But when you bring him back, not only do you bring back an anchor and one of the best centers in college football, I fully expect him to be the, the preseason favorite to win the Remington Award, which goes to the nation's best, I believe, either interior lineman or center. I think he's a first-team All-SEC player. Quite frankly, I think he's going to be a first-team All-American player. We touched on Friday about the leadership that he brings. This guy was a permanent captain this season. He's probably going to be a permanent captain once again. Has a very valued and respected voice in this locker room. But we touched a little bit earlier on the quarterback position and the battle that we think is going to ensue. But whoever steps in for Stetson Bennett – Against UT Martin, they're going to be making their first career start. When they go on the road on October 30th, or September 30th, rather, to Auburn, they're going to be making their first road SEC start. They're going to have to go on the road at Neyland Stadium in Tennessee. And those are all tough environments to go play in. You know, Georgia gets there, the SEC championship game at the end of the season. Environments they've never been in before. They haven't been in those moments. They don't know what the field and the speed and all that looks like on a game day atmosphere. But Cedric does. He started 30 games in his past two years for Georgia, and that shouldn't be lost. While these quarterbacks may not have seen things at an SEC level, Cedric Von Prahn has seen anything and everything opposing defenses can throw at him, and he's aced it all. He was already an all-SEC player for this team, and when you bring him back, well, yes, Georgia does have to replace its two starting offensive tackles and Broderick Jones, who's going to be a first-round draft pick, and Warren McClendon, who started 37 consecutive games in his time at Georgia and is also going to be drafted by the NFL. I think when you bring back Cedric Von Prahn, when you bring back Amarius Mims, Tate Rattler, Xavier Truss, Cedric had a tweet after the national championship game, a little annoyed about the fact that this team didn't win the Joe Moore award, which goes to the nation's best offensive line. It's gone to Michigan in each of the past two seasons and Michigan hasn't exactly lived up to that billing in the postseason. Georgia's defensive line tooled them around in the 2021 orange bowl. And then TCU had four sacks against Michigan in their college football playoff game, in the Fiesta bowl against Georgia. Sets and Bennett didn't get touched. They had zero. Georgia gave up just nine sacks this past season, the fewest in a 15-game schedule. Cedric Von Prahm was a big reason for that. And I think going into 2023, now that he's officially coming back, he's going to be an even bigger part of their success. And while Georgia does have to break in a new quarterback, their life is made significantly easier, whether it be Carson Beck, Brock Vandergriff, or Stetson Bennett, by the fact that they're going to be taking snaps and having Cedric Von Prahm calling out plays and alignments and defensive players at that center position. I think what he's going to bring to this team next year is invaluable. And as I said earlier, I think it's potentially the difference between winning a national championship and finishing a season in the college football playoff.